Organic waste, green cuttings, food leftovers and droppings are all substances that are frequently regarded as unavoidable evils. Yet biomass is actually an energy source, and when sealed off hermetically, bacteria begin to break it down. A fermentation process commences and biogas is produced. Biogas plants constitute a major topic in Austria and, of course, throughout Europe. I am also convinced that this constitutes a constantly available energy source. Biogas plants are not peak power generators, but they continue to operate when there is no light or wind, and therefore they represent a special focus of my attention. Ulrich Kubinger is a chemist and has been researching into issues such as used water treatment for over 30 years. Now, he and his team have developed biodexan, an agent that massively increases the yield from such plants. Our initial intention was to develop a product for this type of biogas plant, which would inhibit impurities such as sulfur and also regulate the pH value in order that ammonia does not form. Accordingly, we carried out the related tests and were pleasantly surprised by how well the product functioned. On average, the gas yield at each plant increases by a third. Extrapolated to the existing plants in Austria, one could supply an additional 72,000 households with gas. The order of the day is to get the most out of existing raw material. In the biogas sector, this is primarily a matter of moving from conversion into electricity to feeding into the gas grid. What is being created here is unbelievable, as are the user benefits. I think these will also apply to the entire population, and I am especially delighted to see the developments in this connection. Biogas has a real future. We can see what is happening in the world at present, which is a tragedy and upsets me greatly. However, we wish to carry on, and VTA is helping to achieve this aim, be it with a small but important contribution. In this case, through increased yield from the environment-friendly, domestic alternative to natural gas.